Hey guys, welcome back to Firewood on the Hill. So today we're just gonna do something a little different. Um, we started this about two months ago, so we wanted to give an update on, uh, I guess, our system, how we're doing everything out here, the layout of our yard, and just kind of take you guys around and give you a little tour. Yeah guys, so we, like she said, we've done this about for two months now. Um, everything that we do, we've learned from YouTube. So the channels like the Woodyard, Firewood at the Furnace, Joe's Premium Firewood, uh, Back 40, I mean there's Morgan's, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, YouTube channels that we've watched, learned a little bit from each. <clears throat> some's good, some's bad, um, but it's, that's how we started. Um, and honestly, that's how I got the idea, right? Yeah. Sadie's like, why are you on YouTube watching Firewood <laughs> videos? I'm like, I don't know, I think it's interesting. And sure enough, we got it at home now. <laughs> yeah, and he, he watches them every single night still, even though we're, we have a system going and everything, because there's just more to learn. And yeah, I mean, it's dark, I can't do anything, so I go inside yeah. and learn more about firewood. Yeah. So out here, you guys will see there are some similarities between what we're doing and some things that we've learned along the way from the different channels. Yeah. Alright, so we'll uh, pick up the camera, walk around, and kind of show you what we're doing. Alright. So... <coughs> Like many, we've done the pallet system. We've made eight, uh, eight foot long rows, and then we put a pallet up to separate them. Um, so I have two face cords in each pallet area. Um, let's see, we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. <clears throat> Uh, sets so that's what 13 times 2 it's 26 face cords per row um, I've tried the the uh, plastic over the tops and as you can see I kind of gave up on it it just blows it everywhere and it's more of a hassle than anything so maybe I don't know when it gets closer I'll take it more seriously closer to winter I'll take it more seriously and cover them but right now I'm just going to let them sit there without anything on them this is where we've started our second row right here. So, second row is coming in. <clears throat> As you can see, we still have a lot of rounds that we have to split. Um, so those, what we're doing is, this is something I learned from the wood yard. Um, stack it and split it where you're, or actually cut it, split it, and you're gonna stack it right at the same place. That way you're not moving as much. Plus we on a hill. So it just makes everything much more difficult. Yeah, so we're going to turn that up again. And then as you guys can see right here, he has a space set up between the rows and we're going to keep it about this big between each row so that trucks can drive in here so that we have access to the wood whenever we need it because all of our stuff that's going to be seasoned first is back here and then the newer stuff will be up towards the front this first go around until things start rotating out yeah so i measured i'm doing roughly around nine feet maybe a little more um nine feet wide so i can get my truck in here um and then i think a dump truck would fit if if that needs to happen as well yeah and then the other cool thing that we forgot to mention at very first is that all this wood that we've ever got is all been free um, on Facebook and stuff. People are on there. If you say that you're collecting firewood and trying to get firewood, a lot of them will try to have you pay for the wood. But we're lucky enough that we found some tree service guys and some people out there that just want to drop it off uh, to get it off their backs, basically. All right, so um, supporting yourself. though, we want to tell you um, when it comes to getting firewood and all that stuff I when I first started I went and went and got my own firewood and it just took a lot of my time up I mean I can remember it take me three hours to go get maybe a cord full of wood um, and then I still had to come home split it and stack it so it was it was a waste of time I mean obviously I had to do what I had to do to get started but if you can get a system like we have or if you can buy wood. I am in North Carolina, so I don't know if I'm gonna have a big enough business to buy wood and sell it. So I'm trying to do everything for free right now. That way, if it doesn't pan out, if I don't have the people that want the wood, I'm not stuck in the hole. Um, but I had a guy text me today, actually, um, that said he needs he wants to come drop a, a load of wood off. And I'm like, all right, let me know when you'll be here and I'll be here. Um, 
So it seems like it's really, really rolling in. And that's probably one of the biggest bottlenecks to the firewood process is getting enough wood to sustain and you know, replenish what you sell. So I think we're really, really lucky on that aspect of the uh, firewood business. Another thing is the pallets, I just randomly picked them up wherever I found them on Facebook Marketplace. Um, I was lucky enough to where I made I think three trips and I got enough for what I think I'm gonna need for the whole wood yard. So that's really good. I don't have to look for any more pallets or anything like that. Counted up what we have. We have about 10 cords um, split and stacked. We have a crap load of wood we still have to cut and split. Um, but right now, 10 cords, um, that's in two months. Um, still to this day, I have one chainsaw, the Echo 590. I have one splitter, the 25 ton log splitter, my truck, and I use my dad's trailer whenever I needed to go pick up pallets or wood or something like that. But I mean, I've probably used that only, I don't know, seven, eight times. It's not anything crazy. So what's really saving us is having the tree guys or tree service guys bring us wood. And that's, that's the biggest thing. And that's what I would suggest everybody try to do because it just makes everything so much nicer i don't have to pay for gas to go get wood i don't have to hook up the trailer and i don't have to any of that i just come into my yard and cut it up but anyways we're going to show you um all of the wood that we still have to cut up and uh split so i'd say we roughly i don't know probably have another four probably have another four cords uh unsplit maybe more than that i don't know it's hard to tell with all this but this is what we have still left to cut split stack all that good stuff um a lot of white ass a lot of red oak some maple i mean we even have i mean look how big these trees are i told sadie yes that if we get this tree service worked out and now I'm gonna to get to buy another chainsaw because I need a bigger one for these big logs. But, I mean, with anything, you do get bad effects of some of some of these tree service guys. They'll come in here and they'll drop, you know, a pine log here and there. Nothing crazy. Um, I think I've gotten three, but luckily both of my neighbors will take pine. So I just give the pine to them. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much everything. Um, that is our update. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell.